Praise be Jesus Christ. I describe myself as an all-terrain Catholic. Now, I want to read to you a scripture from Mark chapter 9. It says, John said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone driving out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow us. Jesus replied, Do not prevent him. There is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name who can at the same time speak ill of me. Now, I had my deeper conversion as a teenager by reading the Holy Bible and by reading the lives of the saints. And then I joined, when I was 18 years old, the seminary, I joined a wonderful community called the Companions of the Cross. I would describe our community as conservative charismatics. And then in the seminary, I got to, to meet um, and make friends with um, some Orthodox Christians from some of the Orthodox churches and also some Eastern Rite Catholic uh, Christians and just really enjoyed the, the richness of their, their tradition and the way they express their faith, uh, really got into the Jesus prayer, um, things like that. Uh, in, our, in, in the pro-life work I did, I got to meet the wonderful priests of the priestly fraternity of St. Peter and some of the wonderful uh, families kind of associated with them. Um, again, deeply impressed that these are good, solid priests. Um, and then when I was ordained, I had the blessing of being able to travel all over the world and experience uh, Catholicism or the Catholic expression just in different cultures, you know, um, India, different parts of Africa, uh, Central America, and so on. And um, I just have found myself always impressed with the wonderful diversity we have in the Catholic Church. Now, the one thing that um, we always have to guard against is heresy. We cannot tolerate compromising the Catholic doctrine um, or Catholic morality. And the reason is, is you know, if, if we say that the church is like a field hospital, the field hospital has to be giving the right medicine. If, if the, the medicine that is being given to the sick isn't uh, right, people just aren't going to get better. And, and even worse, can you imagine, rather than giving people medicine, giving them poison? And so we were taught this in the seminary, that proper doctrine and, and, and proper moral teaching is, is a non-negotiable. It doesn't matter if your field hospital looks a lot more pretty and everyone pretends to be really nice. If they're giving you poison instead of medicine, it's, it's useless. Viva Cristo Rey!